Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl and the Arrowverse as a whole. Today we got an exciting video to make and talk about with you guys, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so this video is going to be going over an article from out.com. You guys can read it, it'll be in the link in the description below. The title of the article is... New Superman, Son of Kal-El, Issue 13 comic is bringing trans hero Dreamer to the DC Universe. So yeah, you heard it right, Dreamer is returning, however, she's returning once again in comic book form. Now let me explain what's going on. We're going to be breaking down this article because Nicole Maines actually worked on this issue of Superman, Son of Kal-El. If you guys don't know what Superman, Son of Kal-El is, it's a current comic book that is running right now. And it's one of the biggest ones actually currently running, so it's very exciting to see Dreamer actually in the mix. If you guys remember, Nicole Maines wrote a small part of DC Pride, which was like a little anthology series they released last summer. And in DC Pride, Dreamer had her own story, Nicole wrote it, and obviously since Supergirl ended, everyone's been like, when is Dreamer going to return? Because we feel like there is so much potential for Dreamer, and Nicole felt so strongly about it that it kind of felt like a shame she was going away. And so since then, we've been like, okay, if any Supergirl character is going to be returning, surely it's going to be Dreamer. Well, we called it right. Dreamer is returning, and even though... As of right now, I don't know if she's returning in the Earth Prime crossover series in the comics, which is actually canon to the Arrowverse. It's exciting that we've got official news that Dreamer is continuing, but this time in the actual DC comic book universe. So, not just in the Arrowverse, but in a completely different world, she is becoming solidified as one of DC's newest characters. And so that is super exciting, and... I'm going to go ahead and read the article because this is, again, a continuation of Supergirl. This is a continuation of the character that they created for the show, and I'm so happy that Nicole is actually a big part of it. So, issue 13 of Superman, Son of Kal-El is going to see Nicole Mange actually co-authoring the issue, along with Tom Taylor, the current writer of the series, and so Al got to chat with them about the process, and so their first question was this. What was the genesis of bringing Dreamer to the pages of the DCU, so the DC comic book universe? What made y'all want to bring a hero so many loved on screen to the comic world? Nicole Maines replies, Back in early 2020, we didn't know how much longer the Supergirl series was going to go on for, or if we would have a season 7 or not. I knew how important this character was and the potential she had as a superhero, so I reached out to DC to talk about starting a Dreamer solo series. From that conversation, I started working on a young adult graphic novel starring Dreamer as 15-year-old Nia now. As I was writing that, I took a break and started working on her first comic book appearance in DC Pride Anthology in 2021. My editor on that had also been working with Tom and was interested in bringing him and I, and consequently John and Nia, together for Superman, Son of Kal-El. And so John is Superboy, and Nia is obviously Dreamer. So when I got an email in December asking to set up a meeting, I of course said yes. After that very first conversation, I knew that this was going to be the perfect place to bring Dreamer into the main DC universe. I mean, we all know the kind of trouble a Naltorian and a Kryptonian can get up together. This was a match made in heaven. So that's obviously super exciting to see that she was working even on a young Dreamer series in the comic books. And with them focusing so much on Dreamer, surely the CW is like, wow, we need a show because she is in the comics. Like, what other character really is going from the Arrowverse or... You know, the film straight to the comics in such a short period of time. I don't think that happens that much. So, it's a very special character, and I think the CW must be questioning, should we do a Dreamer series or not? Because I would love it. Anyway, so Tom Taylor, author of the series, goes on to say, Andrea Shea and I met in 2018, and we immediately hit it off. We both had a similar vision in terms of superheroes and what they could be. Then he goes on to say, after the success of John's coming out in Superman Son of Kal-El, Andrea contacted me about bringing Dreamer into the DCU. 
in the pages of Superman. She wanted me to meet with Nicole and discuss the character, which I was only too happy to do. But I asked straight away if I could ask Nicole to write it with me. Fortunately, Nicole was on board for this. Nicole is a brilliant storyteller with great ideas and I love the organic and powerful way we found to bring Dreamer to the DCU. So it's great to see that he was the one that was like, okay, you clearly have a very strong connection to Dreamer. You kind of know what stories that would be interesting for the character and you know the ins and outs because you played this character for many years on TV. So let's bring you on board. And obviously he'd seen DC Pride. He's seen her story, her Dreamer story in that anthology and so he was obviously impressed and it's great to see that they actually got around to collaborating. Okay, so what can fans who love the character already expect from Dreamer in Superman Son of Kal-El issue 13? Will there be similarities slash differences between the on-screen Dreamer and the comic Dreamer? What would these look like? Character-wise, Tom Taylor says, there is so much of Nicole in Dreamer and having worked so closely on this issue, hopefully we'll see that shine through in this issue. Beyond her character, Nicole is a heroic activist herself and I hope we can capture some of her passion, bravery and heroism on the page. Nicole goes on to say, fans of Dreamer are going to be over the moon with how we brought Nia to the page. However, while this is still the same fun, adorable and powerful Dreamer we got to know on the show, the Dreamer that appears in Son of kal hasn't been through any of the events of Supergirl. She hasn't even met Kara or Brainy. We wanted to give Nia the room to grow into those relationships, her powers and the mantle of Dreamer on the page, so that fans of hers, new and old alike, can all have the chance to see that journey unfold in new ways different from the show. The Dreamer that fans will meet on the page is one that has come into her own as a superhero by herself. She is more of a self-taught loner who hasn't had any other heroes to call super friends but perhaps meeting John will change that. So that is very very curious and you can see the cover art of the issue here featuring Nicole's Dreamer obviously on the page and this confirms that they are not going along with the Arrowverse so it's not canon basically is what you can take away from Nicole's comments. Like I understand it however I do think it's a shame that they are kind of wiping out, you know, Kara and Brainy and that history that they've had with the Super Friends. But I understand wanting to give her room to grow as a new type of character. And obviously an easy way to do that is by retconning everything and saying, look, this is Dreamer, but it's a different type of Dreamer. Like, it could be Dreamer from another world, for all we know. However, it is not a reverse canon. So this version of Dreamer is more of a self-taught loner, basically. She taught herself and then now she's finally colliding with these superheroes like the new Superman and that's where she will find her super friends. So I guess for fans of Dreamer and fans of Supergirl, it's a little bit of a shame. However, it is exciting nevertheless to see Dreamer on the page. And yeah, it's very cool this cover, I have to say. Like you get to see the many characters of the DC Universe here. A lot of the younger characters actually and the Titans and you know, Booster Gold is there, the Green Lanterns, obviously John's there, Superman that being, the Flash. I don't believe Supergirl is there because, you know, she's not really been in any of the recent comics apart from Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow, which was a comic that was quite contained and quite separate. And so the synopsis of the issue goes like this. It's the dramatic DC Universe debut of Dreamer when every hero on Earth is threatened by Henry Bendix's machinations. It's a race against time for Dreamer to warn Superman before it happens. But will this mysterious new ally's premonition become a nightmare for Jonathan Kent? And so, yeah, it seems her powers are going to come into big help in this issue, especially because she's able to see what is going to come. You know, that's her whole powers, you know, dreaming of the future and dreaming of different things. And so they go on to say, what about fans who aren't familiar with Dreamer? What do you think they will love about them? Nicole says, I am so excited for all the comic book fans who are going to meet Dreamer for the first time. They're going to learn right alongside John and Jay. Just what makes Dreamer such a capable and likable superhero. Tom already has, as I know of the series, a brilliant story unfolding. And together we were able to come up with a truly kick-ass way to fit Dreamer into it. 
From the second she arrives, she begs the question, who is this woman? And as soon as you think it's been answered, you're asking again. I'm excited to introduce fans new and old to this version of Dreamer to show them exactly what she can do. Even on Supergirl, we only scratch the surface of the true extent of Dreamer's power. So buckle up. So basically, they're going to take Dreamer in a new avenue, a new path, and they're going to amp up her powers and amp up her as a superhero. And like she said, even on Supergirl, Nicole believes she could have become something much more. And by making her a hero all by herself, I believe that's what Nicole thinks she is doing. And so definitely fans are going to like the character because she's very likable. And if it's anything like the dreamer that we know from Supergirl, everyone's going to pretty much like her. So that about does it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new to not miss any future videos. And you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. Also remember to check out the article. There's a couple more questions that Nicole and Tom actually answered in the article from out.com. So that is in the link in the description below. And remember guys, if you missed any of my recent videos, go check them out. But I am back to hopefully daily or every couple of days in terms of uploading. Had a busy week, however we are back to it. So get ready guys, it's going to be very exciting. Got lots of videos planned for you. So for now, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.